alkaline breakfast mastery, the lever that makes every day 10 times easier because getting breakfast right is probably the most effective and efficient thing that you can do right now to get towards your health goals. No matter what they are, it changes everything. For the amount of time and energy you have to put in, the benefit you're going to get from starting the day right, staying it alkaline and energized is amazing. The gain far outweighs the effort by miles and miles. Because when you get breakfast right, you're going to benefit from so many different things that are going on in your body. Naturally balanced hormones, elevated metabolism, perfectly alkaline pH, soothed digestion, all day naturally balanced energy. You've been told that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, probably your whole life. But really, it really is. That is probably an understatement. <laughs> it's massively the most important meal of the day, and it will change your life if you get this right. When your body is nourished the right way the first thing in the morning, it leads to so many benefits, an abundance of energy, automatic visceral excess fat loss where you need it, more focus, more mental alertness, balanced hormones, an ability to handle stress, and so much more. The list goes on and on. The thing is, your body is operating on cycles and you have to get breakfast right because it influences your hormone, hormonal cycles, your blood sugar cycles. And these two, your hormones and your blood sugar cycles will effectively decide how the rest of your day will go from breakfast now until breakfast tomorrow. Your body operates on these cycles, these rhythms, especially your hormones such as cortisol, melatonin, serotonin, insulin. And step one in balancing these, um, these cycles and these rhythms is doing the right things the second you wake up. And 90% of people get this dead wrong because 90% of people are either having a really acidic blood sugar hormone disrupting breakfast, things like grains, sugar, processed meats, dairy, or even worse, they're having nothing for breakfast. I'm telling you now, the wrong breakfast or no breakfast will set you up for failure. And the effects of this are so much more detrimental than most people realize. You have to master breakfast, and we're going to do this right now, okay? All day, lovely, sustained energy. That's what you're going to be getting from your breakfast from now on, and we're going to be doing that by going through what I call my perfect breakfast formula. This is what's going to set you up for success your whole day, and the beauty of it is when you get breakfast right, the rest of your day is just so much easier to stay consistent and motivated and keep um Keep your consistency throughout the day. It's kind of that success breed success psychology. Not only will you feel psychologically more like doing this, but because your blood sugar balance, uh, levels are balanced as well, your willpower will actually be stronger. Your willpower works on, um, on glucose. So when your blood sugar is out of whack, your willpower is out of whack. That's why I said earlier that willpower is such a flawed mechanism to stick to a healthy diet because you need the healthy diet to balance your blood sugar in order for your willpower to stay strong. When your blood sugar is erratic, you literally throw your willpower out of your way. People think of willpower as like there's some element of your character, like, I wish I had more willpower. You know, that's what you often hear people say, oh, my willpower is terrible. But it's not. Your willpower is literally a brain a function that runs on glucose. And when glucose gets depleted, the more it is used, the lower your blood sugar. So the less function your willpower has. Low blood sugar, low willpower. Just remember that. So when you're eating a, a normal breakfast, a standard breakfast of things like grains and sugar and processed foods, you are literally setting yourself up for weak willpower because that sends your blood sugar all over the place. And within a few hours, your blood sugar will be at its lowest after eating things like sugar and grains, which is when you're next feeling hungry, by the way, a couple of hours later, and your willpower will be at its weakest. It's a cruel trick of nature, but I've got the tools so that we can work with that. There are a bunch of studies as to why breakfast is so important. I won't run through all of these now. We'll cut a bit of time and save a bit of time. But the most important thing is we have to get breakfast right, not skipping it, not eating those regular acidic blood sugar spiking foods, but fueling it. And here is how we're going to do it. There's thousands of studies proving that there is a direct correlation between an insufficient breakfast and the quality of your health, including your energy, your weight, and the speed at which you age. You have to get it right. The challenge for most people is that almost all of the most common breakfast ingredients are acid forming. They're inflammatory. Things like you know, eggs and bacon and sausages and breakfast cereals, toasts and jam and orange juice and milk, 
uh, French toast, pancake syrup, all these types of things, coffee and tea, they're all so acid forming. They will zap your energy and they will send your blood sugar spiraling out of control and leave you feeling that 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning, massive slump. If you're not already snoozing by the time you're commuting to work, you will be by 10 o'clock in the morning if that's your kind of breakfast. But could you imagine how amazing it would be if you felt vibrant and alive in the mornings? You need to find the right breakfast recipes that work for you and your family. And this is where my perfect breakfast formula comes in. And it's got four simple steps. Rule one is to eat within an hour of rising. This is getting your metabolism firing early, making sure that your balance of uh, melatonin to ser serotonin have been set correctly. It, it indicates to your brain that yes, the sun has risen, but also that you've gotten up and to start your next level of production of hormones. Rule number two, include around, I've said at least, but somewhere between 10 to 25 grams of protein within your breakfast, whether that's in the, the one meal itself or with a smoothie to go with it or something else. This promotes balanced cortisol and insulin levels when you rise, and this is absolutely critical for the rest of the day. Your cortisol levels balanced with your insulin levels is one of the biggest markers of health. There was a study that actually showed that um, we have what's known as the cortisol curve, which is a measure of our cortisol levels throughout the day. When you eat a lot of sugar and a lot of gluten containing foods and lead an unhealthy life, the processed foods, bad sleep and that sort of thing, that curve starts to like straighten out. And in the end, it flips to an inverse. What the study has shown is that an inverted cortisol curve is as bigger, in fact, a bigger predictor of early death than smoking, right? Big. You have to have your cortisol right. It has to be balanced with your insulin right. They should sort of almost helix. Rule number three, including healthy fats and fiber to soothe your digestive system and support your liver and kidneys. As soon as you wake up, your detoxification system, your liver, your kidneys, your lymphatic system needs to get to work to process everything, all of the hard work it's been doing overnight to start to remove these toxins. It now starts needs to eliminate. You need to start supporting your liver and kidneys when you wake up. And rule number four, including as many veggies as possible to encourage that pH balance, to soothe inflammation and to provide those essential antioxidants. I'm going to have a sip of my now very cold tea. You guys just to have a look at the perfect breakfast formula for a second. Again, this is all in the workbook. You don't need to note everything down that's on the slides right now. But these four rules will balance your body like nothing else. In, if you include as many of the alkaline, antioxidant-rich, anti-inflammatory foods with your morning routine as well, it will do so much for your energy, your mental clarity and your health. I'm gonna give you my go-to breakfasts in just a second and all of the recipes, tons of recipes in your workbook. But for now, let's just have a, few, a quick look at the foods you should be aiming to eat and avoid in the morning. So you can start to get a bit of a bigger picture as to where we're going with this. So the foods you need to avoid, you probably already know. Processed meats, dairy, caffeine, gluten containing grains, breads, pastries, jams and preservatives. These, you know, you guys know these are the foods that most people are having for breakfast. And these are the foods that you need to be avoiding. The foods you should be looking towards, tomatoes, vegetables, beans, gluten-free grains and grasses, things like oats and chia and quinoa, healthy oils, things like turmeric and ginger teas, green foods, healthy oils. It's about shifting from processed packaged to fresh. That's the simplest way we can put this. The J-E-R-F, the just eat real food. That's what you need to be going for here as natural and unprocessed as possible at breakfast. Now, I'm gonna have a quick check-in. Can I get a few yeses in the chat box if you guys are still seeing the slides and hearing my voice? And while I'm waiting for that, we'll crack on to the first step, which is pre-breakfast. So what you're doing the second you wake up, the very first thing that you do when you wake up in the morning should be a gift to your body, starting as you mean to go on. I've heard many, many very, very disciplined people talk about how they always make their bed first thing in the morning. It's, a, it's, it's that small mental victory, a consistency and a positive habit that sets them on a winning streak first thing. For me, two young kids under seven, I generally wake up with one or both of them in my bed. Last night, it was both of them. Um, and I wake up well before them anyway. So making the bed isn't really an option for me. So instead, I'll make a turmeric tea. 
So simple, so powerfully alkaline and anti-inflammatory, and it's a source of really good fats too. And here is my default recipe for you guys on the screen right now. 200 or so mil of coconut milk or almond milk, some filtered water, a centimeter of fresh root turmeric, roughly chopped, a centimeter of ginger, fresh root ginger, roughly chopped, and a dessert spoon of coconut oil. Literally all you do is put it all, except for the oil, everything into a pan, bring it to a simmer. After a few minutes, I chop it, uh, chuck it all into my blender, whiz it all up, uh, make it smooth, and then stir in my coconut oil. I drink that, and wow, what a start to the day. The recipe for this, and another variation, again, in your workbook, but this, getting that level of hydration, the ginger, the turmeric, the two, they are probably the two most anti-inflammatory foods on earth, with the healthy coconut oils as well. So powerfully anti-inflammatory, so powerfully alkaline, and it gets your day off to an unbelievable start. The health benefits for turmeric and ginger are absurd. If you can make this a daily habit and get your serve of fresh ginger and turmeric in every morning, and for anyone saying, I can't find it fresh anywhere, I, I'm not doubting you, but I am telling you, you can get it on Amazon. So most people have got Amazon now and you can get fresh uh, root turmeric delivered to your door on Amazon, which is just blows my mind. If you can do this every day, I promise you just this will change your life. So let's get into these simple breakfasts. Number one, my simple alkaline oats or quinoa porridge. This is just delicious. The key distinctions here, actually, and this is a great example of simple swaps again from strategy number one because there's a couple of key distinctions here. By just swapping out what would be a normal bowl of oats, which would have you know, 200, 250 milliliters of, of regular cow's milk, regular. It's weird that we call that regular. It's squeezed from an udder of a beast. How is that regular? Um, <laughs> normal milk. Um, instead of 250 mils of um, dairy milk per person, taking out the sugar and the honey, and by adding in chia seeds to give you that omega-3s and the extra fiber that are gonna support your digestion and your brain function, and your metabolism and your heart, adding in the coconut oil or MCT oils, whichever you prefer for your metabolism, again, lowering your bad cholesterol and improving your brain function, adding in cinnamon for speeded metabolism, lower blood sugar, reducing heart disease uh, risk, and all these types of things, you're basically turning a regular breakfast into a super alkaline breakfast, and it's quick, and it's easy, it contains heaps of protein like we talked about, it contains heaps of fats like we talked about, and you can make it quickly so you can have it first thing in the morning. It's ticking the boxes here of the perfect breakfast formula. This is number one, it's so simple, and it's so easy. Number two, I love this one. This is really simple. Um, these are my no-bake breakfast bars. And this is literally a case of putting the coconut cream, the coconut oil, the rice malt syrup, and everything into a big bowl, blending it all, whisk, whisking it all together until it's all combined, putting in the almond butter, putting in the ginger, um, then adding in the oats. Um, I'm ad-libbing as I'm just looking through the ingredients and remembering how I make it. And basically forming it all together into uh, a lovely, um, uh, with your hands, into a baking dish, into this type of shape that you see on the screen, put it into the fridge, a couple of hours or overnight, and then you can cut it into bars, and it will keep for a minimum of a week in the fridge. And you can take these with you to work, you can take them on the go, if you're traveling, you can take these. Um, you know, it, these are things that your kids can put in their lunchbox. It's so, again, so simple massive amounts of protein, healthy fats, absolutely delicious. You can grab it out of the fridge as soon as you get up, you're on your way. Really, really easy, really, really delicious. You can even swap uh, one of the cups of oatmeal for a cup of flax meal if you wanna get more omega-3 in there and give it more of a sort of a nutty taste. Um, but super simple, super easy. I hope that you're seeing how we can make this really work for you so that it's giving you back that time in the morning, okay? Once you've made this, and literally this takes 10, 15 minutes to make, you can do it the night before, stick it in the fridge and you're ready to go. Once you've got this ready to go, how much quicker and easier and like just beautifully simple does breakfast become? Um, again, the workbook will be sent to you as soon as this session finishes and all of the recipes will be in that workbook. Number three, this is just absolute decadence. This is my coconut cheer cream pot. So really, uh, you know, 
A lot of you guys will already know how to make these. Um, again, recipes, everything, all the step by step in the workbook. But again, you're getting great fats. You're getting a great amount of protein. You can make these the night before. You can batch make these. They'll last for four or five days in the fridge if you make a batch of four or five or seven or ten of them for your family. Um, again, you can take to work. You can have them on the go. You can have them at the drop of the hat. This even makes a delicious dessert. I have to say it's that awesome. Another one that's brilliant for on the go, bulk making, you can take to work, you can have as a snack, is my gluten-free, paleo-friendly granola. And people often have questions about intermittent fasting, paleo, keto. I'll cover that in the Q&A if someone reminds me. Um, but you will need to remind me because uh, there will be lots of questions and I might forget. Um, but literally just nuts and seeds and coconuts and, and um, coconut oil and rice malt syrup and all this stuff. People might be wondering why I'm recommending rice malt syrup as your uh, sweetener, so to speak. Again, that will take a long time for me to go through that. So if someone reminds me when we get to the Q&A to talk about sugar, I'll definitely go through sugar, sweeteners, alternatives, maple syrups, and all that sort of stuff in the Q&A as well. But this one, really amazing as well. Makes eight to 10 serves, um, stores in the, in the just in your pantry for ages, and you can have it on the go traveling with the kids in their lunch boxes wherever you go. Finally, this is my favorite cooked breakfast. This is really, really easy as well. And this is a great source of protein from the beans. Um, you can use any kind of beans or lentils you like in this. Um, you know, you've got, you've got greens and you've got antioxidants from the tomatoes and the basil. You've got healthy fats from the avocado. You literally chuck everything except for the avocado, um, lemon and olive oil, uh, well, avocado and lemon into just a small pan. Get it cooking not for long, serve it up with half an avocado, a little side salad, some olive oil, um, you're ready to go. It keeps you going for hours and it's absolutely delicious. And of course, juices and smoothies. These are your greens. These will, if you can have a juice daily or three times a week even, it will change your life. The biggest tip that I always give, I always make sure every member of the Alpine Base Camp has this imprinted into their brain when they join, is you don't necessarily have to make a juice or smoothie every single day. You can make twice as much today and have the second serve tomorrow. If you keep your juice or smoothie in an airtight container in the fridge, it will happily keep for the next day, okay? People will say, oh, but don't the nutrients start to go away? I would rather you have a juice every single day and be doing it this way than have a juice every other day and miss out. I'd rather you get 80% of the goodness than none of the goodness, okay? Again, there's loads of recipes in your workbook, but doing this, having a juice or a smoothie every day, mid-morning snack or with your breakfast or you know, whenever you can fit it in, you can have it at night, you can make the second two serves, make one at night, put it in the fridge, the next serve you can have in the morning or mid-morning snack, it will make a huge difference. Getting your breakfast right and having that turmeric tea as well, this will just transform your health. It will make such a big difference. I'm showing you a case study now with Robert because Robert got uh, the results he's talking about here just from changing his breakfast. He thought he was doing the healthy thing. He was having like a whole wheat cereal with whole grain bread for breakfast with milk, you know, you know the, the traditional government advice based convention tells you, you know, have, you know, whole grain cereal with milk because it's got grains in it that are good for you and it's got dairy in it that's good for your bones and everything else. Um, Robert had been diagnosed with polycystic kidneys that wasn't related to his diet. It was it was a genetic uh, thing and he had polycystic kidneys. His health was getting worse and worse and he was told by his doctors that his health would continue to get worse, his fatigue would continue to get worse up to the point of needing to have a kidney transplant, which I can tell you now is huge, huge. That is a massive deal. Uh, my father-in-law had a kidney transplant um, and it's a massive deal, massive deal with a lot of variables. It's not where you want to go. Um, he said, I knew I had to change and I started following your advice with breakfast first. I swapped what I thought was a healthy breakfast of grains for your smoothies and the impact was almost instant. Um, so when Robert started out with me, his fatigue was so bad he couldn't walk 40 meters up his driveway to collect his, uh, to collect his mail from his letterbox. And bearing in mind, Robert's got three kids. He's got twins 
Um, there's learning difficulties with the, with, uh, with the twins. He's got, is full on, is challenging for him. His life is full on. Robert went from not being able to walk 40 meters to being able to run his first marathon. Uh, his kidneys are great. His psoriasis completely disappeared, a side benefit. And this all came from changing his breakfast and it all flowed from him changing his breakfast. Everything else became effortless. Once his breakfast changed and his health changed, everything else became so much easier. Now, for all of you guys that are in the Alpine Base Camp, of course, we've got our Alpine Breakfast Master Class Deep Dive, um, which has got your step-by-step, day-by-day plan and everything else. It's all in the portal there. Um, and obviously, every month, you're getting all of your new breakfast recipes to try. And you're, so you're, you guys in the Alpine Base Camp are really sport for choice on this. For all of you other guys, just starting with these five recipes in the workbook will make a huge difference. 